I'm always amazed at the number of criminals toting swords around. Maybe they're watching too much uh, Kill Bill or something. Oh, jeez. If you're pulled over by police and you respond by pulling out a three-foot sword, you're about to have a bad day. Cops in Tampa saw 34-year-old Randy Osterman in his uh, car. He was blocking a bike lane and they approached him. He was sitting in his fully reclined driver's seat. And as officers got close, he reached into the center console of his car and pulled out a three-foot metal sword with a dragon-shaped handle. <laughs> Osterman waved the sword out the window, and officers tried to taser him, but they couldn't get a good shot. Luckily, uh, Osterman tried to flee through the passenger side door and somehow became incapacitated. Cops jumped on him, placed him under arrest, and a search of his car turned up a bunch of drugs. How could a three-foot sword fit in the center console? I can't even get my coffee mug in the holder. No idea. He's not the sharpest tool. Oh, there it is. Yes. I'm always amazed. There's so many criminals walking around with swords. I guess they get high on drugs and sit around watching Kill Bill, and they're like, yeah, I could do well, that. I have a question. Where do you buy a sword? Ah, hell if I know. I, I I've seen them at the flea market. Oh, you have? Yeah, yeah, they're big on swords out there. Oh. Yeah, right next to the guy selling knives. A Pasco County knucklehead's in custody after he was found driving a stolen van with dozens of cats. Deputies say they arrested Stephen Martell after he failed to pay for the U-Haul for about a month. Upon investigation, officials found out Martell and his wife, a 72-year-old woman, had two dogs and 35 cats oh my all living inside the car. The couple claims they were running an animal shelter out of the van without any proper permits. Martell's facing neglect charges and 35 counts of animal cruelty. Aww. Great, that's probably the U-Haul I'll get next time I have to rent one. I'm like, damn, this smells like kitty litter. Right? And two men had their night at the U.S. Open cut short because one was giving the other a haircut. It happened during the men's quarterfinal match. The barber had finished buzzing the other man's head clean right there in the stands by the time security escorted the two out of Arthur Ashe Stadium and off the National Tennis Center grounds. What? Yeah, but again, the good news is he looked great. Who's... How do you... It's some YouTube guy who's known for doing pranks. Oh. These two guys are like... He's trimming his hair. He got like the cape around him and everything right there in the, amongst the crowd. <laughs> this looks like a great place to cut your hair. <laughs> the it's, lighting is perfect. I think it's hilarious. Just <laughs> added something to what normally is a, kind of a stuffy event. Wow. Those are your knuckleheads. You can find those stories and more wherever you get social media. Just look for Mel and Scott in the morning. A little more off the top? Yeah. Side looking? <laughs> it was a lot. Yeah. Lot to take in. Uh, his head, uh, when he started, was as fuzzy as a tennis ball, but oh, that looks great. Yeah. All right. Those are your knuckleheads. Okay.